So as part of writing new poems in different perspectives, I'm also writing poems in a story form. So I guess like an epic. Instead of me narrating everything, I'm creating characters, and the characters are having dialogue. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Which I've never really done before. Alright, you need to go so I can read. I mean, you can stand there, and you can be in the video, but you can't talk. So that that way they can hear me. I mean, not that it really matters because they can, they're going to be able to read what I'm saying anyway, but just please be quiet, okay? Please. <clears throat> so this poem that I have is called Reflections in a Window, and it's not complete. It's still in the works, but I like how it is so far, and I just had to add a little bit more to it and figure out what more I need to add to it. To give it more of a wow factor, I guess you could call it. And this is my beautiful hat. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Evie, I'm going to tell the story. It's a spooky story. Yeah, it's a spooky story. Yeah, I'll try with that. Alright, so listen to the spooky story, okay? Sit down. Sit down and listen to it. Let me tell you a tale. You ready? Yup. Let me tell you a tale about a house on top of a desolate hill stands a desolate house. Overseeing other houses, vacant, it's unused, has been for many years. It's lonely, it wants to be lived in. A nice family, pet, squatters, anything to live inside of it. The house doesn't want to be alone. In order to feel something, having someone live inside, it created something. The house projects its, its lonely soul in the form of a young girl. She wanders about the house, making, her, making it feel alive. The soul looks... Ugh. The soul loves looking out a window. High in the attic, you can see her, only if she'll let you. Is it done? No, it's not done. It's kind of long. It's oh. a couple pages, and it's going. It's only going to be longer than a couple of pages. It's a long story. Yes, it's a long story. Oh my God! All right. If you manage a glimpse of the soul, you might see her eyes glow, glow, glow green, the color of envy. The soul, the house, wants desperately what other houses have. It so badly wants a family. The soul's reflection imprints the window. Even when she's not looking out the window, she's still watching, hoping one day to be lived in. The soul, we'll call her Carolina, isn't going to have to hope for long. There will be a family, two kids that she can play with. Oh wait, yeah, it's not gonna be two kids, it's just gonna be one kid. I meant to scratch that out. Yeah, this is a monster gift. Oh. Okay. A kid that she can play with. The house, its soul, will have a friend. Mm. Once the Williams family moves in, their child notices something. There's a presence that he, can't, that he can feel. Not quite sure what it is. His curiosity overtakes him. You need to be quiet. His curiosity overtakes him. He finds out what the presence is. And he will be amazed of the possibility. The young Charles goes up to the attic, oh, not sure room. why, but he feels he has to. Something is telling him to go. Once he reaches the top, all he can think about is a window. The only window shedding light. He can see everything from where he is. As he spaces out in his gaze of the town, he notices a reflection. But it's not his own. It's that of a girl. He doesn't know what to do. He wants to run, but he forgot how to move. He stands trembling, quivering, his teeth chattering with fear. He's in shock and excitement, but not sure which is overpowering. This reflection, he notices, it starts to form a body. The reflection from the window, it's creeping out to him. Before he remembers how to use his body, before he can stop himself, his mouth moves to speak to her. And so then that's where I cut it off at. That's a nice story. Yeah, you barely listened to it. Is it done? Well... That's all I have written for now. 
I mean, I do have her dialogue written, but I didn't add it yet because I think um, I have to come up with something that he has to say to her. What? Well, I mean, if you saw a ghost, what would you say to a ghost? Yeah. Wait, what would you say to a ghost, even though it's not a ghost? I know. It's just a soul. Oh, yeah, what all that? So, okay, so <laughs> if you could hear what I was saying. Um, it's not finished, and there's going to be a lot more to it. A lot of dialogue, which is going to take some getting used to, because I never write dialogue, ever, ever, ever. I don't know how to, but, um... I did a stanza with her talking to the boy, but he didn't talk to her yet. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll put that one. And um, so hopefully it comes out good. I hope so. Anyway, I, I think it will. I I like it so far. It's totally different than what I. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so that one's.